Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor lawyer turned homeschool mom of three kids ages nine, six, and four. Today I'll be telling you about DK's Geography Learn and Explore workbook for level K. Now the issue I have with these DK workbooks is that they tend to go all over the place on grade level. Sometimes they tend to skew a little bit younger than what the grade level says, and I think that's definitely true for this one. Although the material seemed more appropriate for kindergarten or first grade, the activities themselves were really quite basic. That being said, my daughter really quite enjoyed it. So. Every single workbook starts out with this little page of stickers. If you'll notice here, the stickers are kind of flat and sort of a dull brassy color. Some of the books that DK makes has a more shiny gold sticker and my daughter was quite upset that these did not. As you can see, the contents range from everything from geography, earth, the globe, what is a map, types of maps, direction, compass rows, and it goes on and it has different types of geographical landforms that they talk about. Um, different biomes, forests, deserts, islands, oceans, lakes. It sort of flops all over the place. It talks a lot about the difference between the human world and the natural world, some country lines, states, provinces, map keys, and then they go on and they use maps for a little bit towards the end. My daughter started this book in her kindergarten year and we just sort of finished it up this year. We didn't really use this book every day, but she just she did enjoy it because it was really quite swift, the activities, and the way we would do it is I would read to her the section at the top and then she would do the activity. My issue with the book is on quite a few of the pages, the activity would take her sometimes just 10 seconds. And for the workbooks like this, you know, especially at the earlier ages, I think that's really useful, the pre-K and K ages. I don't know that I'll go back to DK workbooks for the older grade levels because I found this to be so quick and easy. If you're not a workbook person, however, if you don't like your children to really spend that much time on workbooks, if you just sort of want to have something that will remind you to hit concepts, this is a really nice workbook to look at because it is in no way busy work. The activity goes really quite quickly. Like for example here, they talk about the earth and they talk about the solar system. So you could have an entire discussion on your own about that. And then they ask two very basic questions. When is the earth tilted towards the sun and what does the earth travel around once every year? So they just have to get those two concepts and answer them and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure that the activities are that engaging. Let's put it that way. There's a lot of, you know, color and thickness and glossiness to this page, but the activities themselves seemed incredibly, incredibly basic for the most part. Some people like that, some people don't. My daughter certainly appreciated the ease of this workbook on occasion, so there is that. I'll point out that because the pages have this glossier finish than a typical workbook, oftentimes a pencil will not work as well as, for example, an erasable pen or a highlighter. So here you have the compass rose. It does do a really good job of explaining very basic concepts in a way that children could understand. So if you're looking for a script to explain these concepts in an elementary fashion, it's a really nice little workbook. But see, for example here, all they had to write was which one was a mountain and which one was a hill, and then what was on top of each one of them. They do have really good graphic illustrations though. For example, here you have the entire United States. So you could build on these activities here. You know, we have to talk about what state we live in. So she colored in North Carolina. And we could talk about the East Coast and the West Coast, but a lot of that is going to be you adding on to the information that's present here. So towards the end of the book, you get into map keys and which types of maps you're looking at, identifying symbols and doing a little navigation through a map. Again, really basic, really, you know, even pre-K level in my opinion. So the, the books do skew a little younger than what they say. The DK books do include a certificate at the end of the book. Um, I don't like to hand out certificates so often because I like to teach my children that certificates are just really a piece of paper. And if my children want them, they fill them out themselves and they give them to themselves because I'm happy to have, let them have them, but I don't like to emphasize that there's a reward at the end of this. So this is the DK Geography Learn and Explore book for level K. As always, you guys, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments down below. If you've used the DK series, let me know what you think of it. I think they're a little bit elementary for the level that they say they are. But I do think they're a nice, simple introduction to these concepts. I think they're good openers for conversation and further discussion. I also think that the graphics they provide are pretty well done. 
As always, you guys, I appreciate your time. Thank you for spending some of it with me, and I wish you the very best day.